Well, that really didn't take long, did it now, people? The automatons are back. A new major order is now live. Today, guys, we get into all of this hecticness which is going down. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ. And the winner of my previous 2100 super credit giveaway, you can see on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord and I'll sort you out out now do you guys want to win 2100 super credits or a copy of this game for yourself or even a friend who doesn't have it yet it's as simple as this liberate this video of a massive thumbs up can we try and get 21 likes that'd be incredible make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below i will pick a winner from the comments section and announce them on tomorrow's how divers 2 video Okay, so where do we even start, people? I mean, I'm just sitting back, chilling, and all of a sudden my phone is popping off from the actual Helldivers Twitter. Now, what we first got was this right here. Today, Super Earth citizens celebrated the full eradication of the automatons. Additionally, to reward their bravery, each Helldiver has been issued an extra one minute break. Note, one minute is inclusive of the time taken to read this. How divers currently deployed are inegible. What is going down, people? They then tweet at this right here. Somehow, the automatons have returned. As suspected all along, the previous bot force was merely a vanguard. A massive fleet has now begun an assault of Cyberstan, which is very, very interesting, and the surrounding planets. How divers hold back this unprovoked invasion. The fight continues. I mean, I love the way to say unprovoked here. Unprovoked. What have we just done to them? What have we just done to that vanguard of automatons? We destroyed them. But now, guys, they tweeted out this, which is literally 20 minutes ago. Major order. Yes, we have a new major order, which we'll get into in a second. All units to Libcom 1. A massive automaton invasion fleet comprising tens of thousands of warships arrived from FTL Jump and began an unprovoked invasion of Cyberstan and the surrounding planets. The reclamation has begun. And you'll see right now, guys, that the new Major Order is now live. It states, the automatons have revealed their true force, a massive invasion fleet sweeping through our territory. Defenses are scrambling. Slow its advance as much as possible. Overview succeed in the events of at least five planets pretty badass guys so it's all literally kicking off here it really is now this just adds more fuel to the fire in regards to the story pushing forward here they call the previous bot force we just took out they describe them as the vanguard uh, just a smaller chunk of a massive massive army that are coming for us now the automatons they say have taken over cyberstan this is the home world of the cyborgs who've been living it under that super earth occupation and there's loads of theories here in regards to cyborgs or automatons the connection between them i'm just super super interested and intrigued to see where this is all going I mean, we're still waiting for the inclusion of the Illumina enemy faction, which we know are coming. We just don't know when or how they're going to be incorporated, which I'm very, very intrigued to actually uh, see and how they actually do this. Pretty, pretty cool times ahead, I'm not going to lie. I love the way Arrowhead is on top of things. Now, I actually covered an audio leak in my video earlier today, which may include some spoiler territory, uh, but I'll play that on screen now, guys, and then talk about it in a quick second. So listen to this. Freedom's greetings. I'm Coretta Kelly. New updates on the backfiring of the TCS in the Meridia system. Here's the latest. A preliminary investigation by the Ministry of Science reveals that the termicide initially worked, quote, as intended, eliminating 99.6% of the terminid population on all barrier planets. However, on Meridia, some of the remaining terminids not only survived, but actually began reproducing up to 20 times faster than before. Scientists are now calling the planet a terminid, quote, super colony. The mutations caused by the termicide appear to be random, but according to the report, it is only a matter of time before the same reaction appears on the rest of the barrier planets. 
The Helldivers may be in a race against time to deactivate the TCS before this occurs. In other news, the disgraced scientists who developed the termicide have been taken into custody and are to be investigated for dissident infiltration. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. So we basically hear of uh, Kurt Kelly, the news broadcaster, TCS failure in regards to the bugs that were seemingly eradicated, which we are yet to do. That's going to be a future uh, mission, no doubt, for us to eradicate the bugs, just like we seemingly eradicated the automatons, only for them to come back bigger and stronger, which is the new major order we're experiencing in game now. But in regards to this leaked audio, this could insinuate what happens after we take out the automatons and this audio file just kind of further proves the leaks we had about two weeks ago in regards to the mutated bugs we saw the acid chargers among other things so yeah we've got a quite a big and busy future ahead of us now going back to Cyberstan and the cyborgs, it's very very interesting here. Now, if you don't know what this is, Cyberstan is one of the five planets that reside within the Valdis sector. Cyberstan is an ice world, as well as the former homeworld of the cyborgs during the first galactic war before they were defeated and locked up safely in the mines of the planet, where they still remain to this day. Now a little bit more of the information in regards to the uh, cyborgs and Cyberstan. Now, Cyberstan was the homeworld and capital of the cyborg nation during the events of the First Galactic War. When it was conquered by Super Earth, the cyborgs were then democratized by force, uh, coerced into voting booths by the threat of losing their civil rights. Super Earth's Army Tactical Command stationed troops on the planet for a period of five years to keep the peace and run government positions after which period the cyborgs culture uh, supposed to have transitioned to a fully democratic one by super earth standards meanwhile the super earth construction company secc a government contractor takes over the massive forges and industrial complexes of cyberstan eventually inevitably another bombing would start this whole cycle anew so where are we now well as we've seen with the latest uh, major order a large force of automatons invaded cyberstan and all planets near it these same automatons we thought we had eradicated they're now back and bigger than ever so it's very very interesting to see where this is going people and keep in mind too cyborgs within the game files when data mines are normally referenced to the automatons and this has been theorized and spoken about for quite a while now are the automatons the cyborgs we just do not know it's going to be very very interesting to learn about such one theory i have seen which kind of makes sense is that the automatons were created by cyborgs and the automatons went on to build themselves a bunch of factories and made more copies and what now they're trying to take back cyberstan to free their cyborg creators i mean who knows guys who knows but let me know what you think down below people well there we have it for another video a new major order is now live get on defend liberate do what you gotta do people and there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one